Some smart student thinks that they can get a non-CSU branch at low fee category and later then they can upgrade to CSE core. But bro, it's not easy as it sounds. In this video, I will tell you step by step procedure on how to upgrade your branch from non-CSE to CSE as well as from CSE specialization to CSE core. So watch this video very carefully. Step number one, after the end of your first semester result, VIT will send you an email about the branch migration. In the email, everything will be mentioned, the procedure and all. Still, let me clarify it. So you have to go to the VTOP. After the Mary come, go to the VTOP. There will be a form, fill your CGPA, which branch you want to go along with a valid reason. Write short and clear reason. No need to write big stories. So step number three, you have to pay 1000 rupees as an application fee. If you do not pay, your form will not be accepted. So please do not forget this step. After that, you have to wait for the mail selection. Like after applying, if your CGP is very good and there are limited number of seats left for that particular branch, you will get another mail saying that you have been migrated successfully. If your CGP is low, you might not get migrated successfully. Then, 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 the step has not been completed. You have to pay another 9000 as a migration fee. So, 1000 is application fee and 9000 is migration fee after you have been successfully migrated. So, totally you have to pay 10k fee if your migration is successful. Then, when you pay the fee from the view we will get a final confirmation mail that your branch has migrated, blah blah, congrats. So, suppose for an example, you are in branch BRS, that is AI and Robotics. So, your registration number will be 25BRS1234. Let's an example. Then, if you go to CSC core, like if your branch gets migrated, your registration number will be 25BCE. Earlier it was BRS, now your branch has been changed, so the registration number will be BEC. That's where VTOP, LMS, everything will be changed, but that they will take care, so you don't need to worry about it. So this is the full process of branch migration at VIT. Sound easy, but it's not. Especially if you're trying for CSE, you need to maintain a very high CGP like 9.3, 9.4, or sometimes 9.6 also. So don't take it lightly guys, if you found this video helpful, like and share, I will see you next time. Wait, 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 I forgot to tell you my tips and tricks. So let's change the background, portrait off, studio light off, and background, yes. So in the counseling phase itself, get the branch you want. Don't think that you will get a non-tech or non-CSC branch and you will migrate easily. No, it's really, really hard. So please aim for CSE core or at least CSE specialization because from migrating from CSE specialization to core is easier than migrating from mechanical to CSE core. So that will be my final verdict and maintaining a high CGPA is difficult, I, I will be honest. But in the first semester, you can definitely maintain a good CGP because the major portion will be class 12 syllabus itself, calculus, chemistry, physics, so it will be easy. So if you want, you can get, uh, you can give it a chance to migrate, but please do not take risk. So that's all from my side. Bye bye.